Hi, I'm Nagid Ansari and in this video we're gonna have more movement for our custom character and custom game mode. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last videos, if you follow my videos about beginner Unreal Engine 5 blueprint, we did create a game mode, we did create a character and we did create player controller and I did show you some of nodes for them. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can move around your level, how you can have movement control in your game, okay? So you remember from last video, we did create a action mapping for jump, okay? And with that, we jump, okay? So first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put this get player character in a variable first so we can get it wherever we want, okay? For that, let's just break all the pins from here and move it up. And in here, first thing that I'm gonna do, I wanna cast it to BP my character, okay? I did show you what this casting means in last video, how you can cast it to your BP my character. With this cast, you can access all the variables in our character in here, okay? So you can see we have health and we have a stamina, we have camera, we have a spring arm and we have everything, right? So with this casting, we can have all of those in our blueprint class in here or any blueprint class, okay? So this casting need execution pin. So let's just give it with begin play in here an execution pin and in here you can see that it will give us the bp my character that has health in it and that has jump in it that has a movement functionality in it okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna right click in here and promote it to variable okay so with this we have a variable that we always can get the get the reference of that always in our blueprint class okay so let's just call it in here change its name to my character okay so know that we have this my character we don't need to get the player character always and cast it it will mess up our blueprint class okay know that we have we done this let's just select all of them right click and create a comment for that so i want to call it get our character okay so whenever we zoom out you can see that this section is doing getting our character that's all it's doing okay so no in here you can see we want whenever they hit a space or action jump okay so whatever they we put in this action mapping in here for example in this case is a space bar in last video i did show you how you can have input mapping for your game okay so whenever they hit a space this action jump will trigger this action jump and this execution pin will execute or jump but it ne it need a target okay and for the target because we get it from top here we can just get it like this we can just put it in here and connect it like this and now if we compile and save and go to our game no we can hit the space and jump and you can see it jump correctly right so this way it will be more readable so again let's just put it a comment for this section this is for jump section okay okay so if we zoom out we can see this section is doing uh, the jump for us and this section is getting our character okay we can move it down like this and everything is readable right it's not a hell of mess so let's just again compile and now i want to do move forward move backward move to the right and move to the left how we can do it first of all i want to create an action mapping and access mapping for that if you don't know how you can open this project setting just uh, i want to close this and in edit you can go to project setting and in here go to input and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a access mapping okay first of all I always do it like this the naming is access for the first part and after that access for moving forward forward backward okay so if the if we want to move forward we use W for example in keyboard we can search for W okay so whenever they hit W in their keyboard this it give us one for output okay so let's just add another one for s of course we can search it by search s in here and find it here okay and whenever they hit s on their keyboard the value that this axis forward and backward give us it should be minus one to go backward right so now we have this whenever they hit w we get one and whenever they hit s it give us minus one okay so let's just go to our player controller and in here get that axis forward and backward okay now we have this and you can see that it give us access value that is that one and minus one that we want okay so now that we have this we want a reference to our character let's just get it from here put it here so it will be readable right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a movement input okay with this add movement input we can connect this execution pin to here 
So what it needs, it needs a scale value, how much it should go forward or how much it should go backward, okay? How much it should move at all, okay? So we can use this axis value, that, that one and minus one to put it in here. So another property that we should put in here is word direction. The direction that it should move, this axis value, it tell this add, mo add, movement no add movement input node to how much it should move. And this word direction, it tell the add movement input node to what direction it should go okay so we need to get the direction of our characters so for that we should get controller rotation okay and with that we should get forward vector and it give us the direction of our player okay and let's just bring uh, bring this to here so we can have a organized blueprint right so let's just connect this to word direction so what you do is just get the rotation of our character with this node and it uh, after that with this node it get the direction so with that we connect it to here and now if we compile and run our game with w we can go forward and with s we can go backward okay everything is working fine so what else we should do let's just uh, comment all of these so you can find it fast what it does and this is for backward and forward movement so again if you just unzoom you can see that this section is doing backward and forward movement okay so what else we need to go uh, when they hit d or a on their keyboard it should go right and left like any game right so let's just compile this and again go to project setting and i want to add another access mapping in here for access i want to name it access left right this is for left and right movement and i know you get the idea how you can do that if if you search for d in here so whenever they hit d on their keyboard it should go to the right and again let's just add another one for a and whenever they hit a it should go to the left okay so the, the scale should be minus one because it should go to the left right so now that we have this let's just go here again get a reference to our character in here and let's just zoom a little bit and in here i want to search for axis that left and forward that we create okay and with that what i'm gonna do i'm like we did it before i want to just use this add movement input to go left and right okay so let's just put it in here so we have room in here to do what we want to do first of all let's just connect this execution pin to here and this access value to here and now we should give it the direction that it should move to that direction right so for that again we can do it like this we can get control rotation okay and with that in this case we want to get right vector okay so this get the forward location let's say i'm the character right so if you get the forward vector the forward vector is this if i'm looking here the forward vector is this and if i look, look in here the forward vector will be this and if we get the right vector right vector is like this if, if i move here the right vector will change and you can see this is the right side of me okay so this will give us the right vector and we can connect it to board direction in here and you can see it with this add movement input we can do flying we can do swimming we can do whatever that is uh has doing with movement just put a scale value in here and a direction that it should move and it will move right so let's just compile and see if it's working or not so if we hit d on our keyboard it should hit go to right and left correctly and we can go um, forward backward right left and everything is working fine let's just comment this out like before create comment and i want to say left and right movement okay so this is for left and right move movement and again you can see that our blueprint code is readable and we can easily find out what section doing what in here right i think that's enough for this video in this in the uh, next video i will show you how you can um, use your mouse to look at re left right and uh, wherever you want top down and wherever you want right so please, if you want to help me, hit that like button. It's very important to me. This is the way that I know that you like this video. It's my honor to have you at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.